It is an honor to come here to continue to appeal for the cause of a free Nicaragua, a cause we are pursuing with a deep commitment in human rights. Since April 2018, very few people around the world doubt that Nicaragua is a dictatorship. There is no other way to define a political regime that over the span of 11 years has demolished all democratic institutions. However, prior to 2018, the Ortega regime was outside the radar of the international community. I come here with the conviction and hope that the world will continue to support the struggle of my people to build a free and open society. I come from a brave nation that is doing its part in building a new future. Anti-government protests have resulted in close to 600 people killed, thousands more injured, close to 2,000 political prisoners of whom 650 remain in jail, close to 80,000 Nicaraguan refugees dispersed in several countries, in April, demonstrators took the streets calling for democracy, respect for human rights, and the resignation of Daniel Ortega and his wife, Rosario Murillo, who is the illegitimate vice president of Nicaragua. From the perspective of an uninformed outsider, Ortega has an, inter an electoral mandate that it started with the return to elected office in 2007. However, Ortega is the result of the lack of free and fair elections. In that regard, the massive protests that spontaneously erupted in April 2018 were deeply rooted in the lack of political and civil liberties. This illustrates the intimate link between the lack of democratic institutions and human rights, a link often ignored. The Ortega regime also signified a severe challenge to independent media. More than 90% of all outlets in the country are controlled by the government. Civil society is under unprecedented attack. In December 2018, several NGOs, and mainly those in the human rights field, such as my institutions, were declared illegal by the Ortega regime. Despite all these challenges, in April of last year, a new Nicaragua was born, thanks to the leadership of an inspiring grassroots movement led by students, by farmers, by women, and by civil society organization. I strongly believe that civil resistance and nonviolence is the only direct way available in today's world to consolidate democracy. Please allow me to conclude with a very brief statement in Spanish. Gracias a la resistencia interna y a la fe inquebrantable en la paz del pueblo de Nicaragua, a la valentía de nuestros presos y presas políticas, nuestra nación será libre. El mundo ya conoce el verdadero rostro de la tiranía de los Ortega y tenemos la solidaridad democrática de la comunidad internacional. No hay futuro sin memoria y por ello seguiremos trabajando en la búsqueda de la verdad y de la justicia para que nunca prevalezca la impunidad. Fuerza Nicaragua. Thank you.